adrenaline every show you get the butterflies you get nervous the way the nevis had to leave was because they weren't performing up to the level that they wanted so yeah there was pressure to do flying trapeze and I have this strange fear which people don't understand but I grew up in a high wire family we grew up walking a cable you hold the pole you don't let anything go you stay on top you don't drop flying trapeze is absolutely the opposite you have to go swinging and fling your body and throw the bar and drop and even though I have that net underneath me, there's still that little voice in my head that tells me every time, I shouldn't be doing this, this is not the right feeling. So I have a little problem doing things in the flying act, but I try. It took me four months to become not a good catcher, just to catch my brother. You know, now after six years, I could say it takes that long to be confident to say anybody can fly it to your hands. The first couple of weeks, it was scary. When you're a flyer and you become a catcher, it's hard because you're seeing that body coming at you. It's like a fight. Every part of your body has got to be stiff. You got to grab that wrist. And then you gotta let them down. Like somebody will attach 140 pounds to your wrist and they just drop it. doing the tricks. I used to do the triple. Now my brother does the triple. I have a short time span as an aerialist. What I do is very difficult and it's very hard on the body. I'm 32 right now, so if I'm lucky, I have a good 10 years ahead of me, if I'm lucky, to still be good and to perform at a top level. Can I do four or do I do four? No, I don't do it. But I can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> 